Hi, this is Tim, and Michael and I are working in the PLC lab today, and I hadn't had a chance to show one of the really neat features of the new Control Flash Plus, is right now I need to flash the entire lab. We're using version 33, I need to back it up to 32 for a test. So we have six of the 1769 L16 ERs. Now first, how did I get there? I clicked the Browse button here, and typically you would drill on down and select a PLC that you want to work with. But we can actually go and just select our driver, the particular one, and then we're going to click OK. And it's going to browse and find all of the nodes that are out there on Ethernet IP. And I've already done the first two because I really like doing them one at a time just because I'm probably just old and rusty and that's the way you used to do it. But with Control Flash Plus, you don't have to. So you, here, the first one, which is on 192.168.1.111, I've already got in device 32.011. And you can just select what you want to flash it to. And 121 I also have. But you see, I've still got 33 in this one. So I can select 32. And it actually comes up with this prompt that says select revision 32.011 for all 1769-L16ERs. And when I hit yes, if you notice right here, right now, this one that's on 151 says the version 33. When I click yes, it's actually going to change the version for all of them for me. And... Then I'm going to click next and it's going to give you a warning that you really need to read and understand this. And guys, you do, you need to read and understand this. And then I'm supposed to just hit the flash button. So either we're getting ready to see a video of how easy this is to flash our entire lab for this test, or we're going to see what a bricked PLC looks like in the end. So I'm going to click the flash button. All right. And it says pending. And oh my goodness, it is actually doing all six of them at the same time. So I am slightly scared here, but let's just see what happens. All right. And so the first two actually got failed to begin the update. And if I mouse over, it says failed to begin update to the target device. The device is not in the proper mode to accept the update, manually reset module. And the issue is I have this one, well, this is one of them. It's in run mode right here. Actually, it's in remote run. Now, these four here, I still have in program mode. So to do this, your PLCs do need to be in program mode, whether they're switched to program mode or we have them in remote program. Now, I'm not going to worry about these two because they're already at the version I want anyway. But all right, it does seem to do it all at one time, which is really cool and really scary. So let's see what happens. Okay, and we're done, and it shows that we have four that succeeded, and we have two that failed. And the two that failed were because I had them in run mode, and I think that's kind of a cool feature is, okay, it went ahead and updated the rest of them, even though they're in run mode. So it was still a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking, that's probably a good word. But it, it did work, and, and, and it saved a lot of time. I don't know if it actually saved any time, but I, I was able to just click the update button one time and update the whole lab. So I think the one thing I would say is don't, you know, and actually I always say this about updating firmware is don't go gung ho and just say, oh, I'm going to update my whole plant now. There's a lot of things that need to wait. Most importantly, um, do you even need to update your firmware? Is there a particular reason? I mean, is it you just feel like updating it? Or is it that you have an issue or your plan has said, hey, we're going to go all to version whatever. So make sure that you have a reason for updating. And then again, I would not absolutely, absolutely in no way would I ever do this in production environment. But we're in the lab. It's just Michael and I hanging out today. And so it was a good chance to try it out. So this video has been helpful. I definitely like the control flash. It just has so many options as far as selecting what you want to update and how. And also, you know, like say we had a control logic chassis, we don't have to do them one at a time. It's pretty sweet setup. Till next time. Okay, wait. Um, what did Why I... were you standing still the whole time? You mm -hmm. could at least smile. You're like. I know you're saying upgrade, but aren't you? That's a, the, okay. Smarty Bud here is correcting me. Yeah, I was downgrading. 
So whether you're upgrading or downgrading your firmware, the exact same statement applies. Till next time. Bye. I don't know if you noticed, but also you're going to have to be slow. Like, don't move your mouse too much because um, you have it on settings where it's only one FPS, so like one frame per second. Why didn't you tell me that before the video? Well, I thought you had it handled and I didn't want to stop you. No, I can't start over. This is a one-time shot, man. Okay. My videographer expert just informed me that my um, video is going to be really choppy on this. So sorry about that, but there's still a lot of cool things to learn here. Queen and Andy didn't save the day this time. Queen's not here today. Hmm. So now you know who the brains of the operation is. Queen is not here today, and that's why we're sitting here at 1 FPS. <laughs> I mainly don't touch my computer. Oh, Michael, this is actually a little more nerve-wracking than I thought it would be. I'm nervous too. I don't know why. Because you know it would be a bad day. You probably won't get free ice cream. And that wouldn't be good for your class either. Oh, no, no. Well, it, no, it would be a great learning opportunity for the class. Um, here's how you identify when you break your PLC. Um, now come back next week and we'll have new controllers. <laughs> Pesky spam and a YouTube comment. Really? Yes. What do you say? That's just not how to advertise is to spam my videos. Remove. You know what's interesting about this computer? Is that like, it has Ryzen 3 graphics, but it also has incorporated in it with radon, radar graphics. Radon, like the gas? No, it's this um, company that creates these high tech. Thing with jiggers? Yeah, that okay. go inside of these graphic card things. Uh, graphic card things, gotcha. Yeah. I'm glad you can dumb it down for me so mm -hmm. I understand what's going on. We call it the flux capacitor at the automation store. <laughs> Hopefully, I have no power outages. Oh, that would be bad if we had power outages. That would. Imagine that. But you would get our reaction because our camera is on batteries. <laughs> yeah. Just start crying. Yeah, I might would start crying over that. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And you two thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.